when we have variable magnetic field we will have closed induced electric field this electric field will apply force on the charge the static frictional force will oppose this force but static frictional force has a limiting value beyond which it cannot oppose once that value is attained then after that we can have the motion we have integral e dot dl equal to minus d phi by dt i am interested in the magnitude only so i am taking the mod so e into 2 pi radius equal to ddt of area times magnetic field b not t square so we have e times 2 pi r equal to pi r square times b not into 2t which implies that e is b not r t now consider little length ds having little charge dq little mass dm the electric force little df would be e dq that is b not r t dq the limiting static frictional force would be mu times little normal reaction that is mu times g little mass dm now look at this and this b not rt charge per unit length q pi 2 pi r multiplied by the length mu g mass per unit length multiplied by the length so we have mu equal to b not r t q divided by m g 